The iPhone has an incredible camera and it's a great tool for filmmakers and content creators. But if you're looking for a cinematic look and giving your iPhone videos a more interesting feel, then this is what you're looking for. This is the Sandmark Anamorphic Lens. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Feather and welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna be talking about the Sandmark Anamorphic Lens and why it is a great tool to keep in your mobile photography toolbox. By the way, this video is not sponsored in any way, but I wanted to thank my friends over at Sandmark for giving me this anamorphic lens, which was super nice of them. So let's get to a point. One of Anamorphic's unique features is its ability to give a cinematic look to your videos. When the lens is subjected to vivid light, either through car headlights, street lights, or any hard light during shoots, it creates a lens flare similar to what you see in movies. The Anamorphic lens is able to capture more horizontal information by squeezing the image. It essentially provides a true widescreen look. This method is very popular among cinema cameras used by movie makers such as JJ Abrams. So right out of the box, you get an iPhone case with threaded lens sockets, a universal lens clip, the anamorphic lens, a cleaning cloth, and a drawstring carrying pouch. The lens itself is very well made. It features multi-coating and a 42 millimeter filter thread, useful for adding ND filters. And there are two ways to mount the lens to your phone. The first one uses an iPhone case that clips onto the back of the phone. This feels sturdy, well made, and it's very easy to use. Just screw the lens in and you're good to go. And Sandmark was nice enough to send me their Pro case for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is even better than the one included with the lens, and it's compatible with MagSafe. All the side buttons of the phone are still accessible in both cases with the case on, so it can be your daily driver. The second option is a spring clip that attaches to the lens area of the camera. The clip's pads are rubberized so as not to damage your phone, and this can be used on any smartphone, which is awesome. Once you have screwed the lens into either the case or the clip, you must rotate it to the right direction. To start shooting anamorphic videos, you cannot just use the regular camera app that came pre-installed with your iPhone. I mean, you can, but you're gonna have to de-squeeze the footage later in post-production, which is not hard to do at all. Or you can use a dedicated app. The Sandmark Anamorphic does not come with a dedicated shooting app, but there are a myriad of options out there. I personally use Filmic Pro. Not only is this a high-end cinematography app for shooting, but it also contains the squeeze tool. So with this app, what you see on your iPhone screen is a close representation of the final shot. It also makes composition much easier. Now there's something that needs to be said. Anamorphic lenses can be incredibly expensive, and I'm talking thousands of dollars. But being able to play around with an anamorphic lens on your phone for $130 and produce some really impressive material, that's awesome. Now shooting with an anamorphic lens is like shooting with an ultra wide angle lens, and that comes with certain limitations, in particular with distortion. In terms of sharpness, there is some loss as would be expected. The edges are noticeably softer than the center, but this is contributed to by edge distortion. And for some people, using an anamorphic lens is to be able to use real lens flare as part of the composition. Pointing the lens towards a hard source of light produces a nice looking flare line, and in most cases provides an attractive and cinematic feel. Some people hate this look, but I personally think that it looks great. And it makes our smartphone recorded footage more interesting in most cases. You can get add-on camera lenses for your phone almost anywhere. They can be gimmicky or they can be good. The Sandmark Anamorphic Lens is good. It doesn't necessarily improve the quality of your video per se. It just makes it more interesting and that is a true value. The lens is a very nice addition to any iPhone filmmaker's toolbox. It can create some very good looking cinematic cutscenes that you can absolutely add to any of your productions. While you probably do not want to create a full production with it, it's still a very nice addition to your toolbox. You can get the Sandmark Anamorphic Lens directly from Sandmark for $130 with worldwide shipping. I'm gonna leave the link down below if you wanna check it out. Overall, I have really enjoyed using the lens and accessories like this one make me really excited 
for the future of mobile filmmaking. We certainly have come a long way to the point where pretty much anyone with a smartphone and a bit of creativity can create something incredible. And on that note, it's time for me to go. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts about the Sandmark Anamorphic Lens on the comment section down below. I would really like to know. Anyways, I hope that you guys are all doing great and I'll see you on the next one.